In this video, I will consider one numeric column superposition theorem. Find current I using superposition theorem for the circuit shown below. This is the given circuit. We need to find the value of I using superposition theorem. So in superposition theorem, we need to consider one source at a time. Here we have three sources, 20 volt independent voltage source, 5 amp independent current source and a 2I dependent voltage source. So dependent sources must be kept as it is and we have to consider independent sources one source at a time. So first I will consider 20 volt source alone. In that case 5 amp source will be open circuited. Let me draw the circuit considering 20 volt source alone. So this is the circuit considering 20 volt source alone where 5 amp current source is open circuited. That is consider 20 volt source alone. So here let me assume current I1 is flowing when we consider 20 volt source alone. So here we have a dependent source which is dependent on current I. So when it is I1 this will also will become I1. Now as we know there is only one loop the current I1 is flowing into the circuit. I will try to find current I1 by applying KVL to this circuit. So let me start from here. So 20 is equal to voltage across 4 ohm is 4 into I1 plus then current will flow like this. Current through 2 ohm resistor is 2 into I1 and here we have a dependent source that is 2 I1. Let me simplify. 20 is equal to we have 8 I1 or I can write I1 is equal to 20 by 8 which is equal to 2.5 amp. So I1 is the current which flows into the circuit considering 20 volt source alone. So now in the original circuit, now let me consider 5 amp source alone and in that case this 20 volt should be made equal to 0. So voltage source should be made equal to 0 by short circuiting. Let me redraw the circuit considering 5 amp source alone. So this is the circuit if you consider 5 amp source alone that is consider 5 amp alone. Now let me assume that current I2 is flowing in 4 ohm register. I2 is the current which flows into the circuit when we consider 5 amp source alone. When this is I2 here we have a dependent source it will also become I2. Now I will try to find I2. Here we can see that there is a current source between two loops. So if there is a current source between two loops, we need to analyze current source first. Let me assume current through this loop is I2. And so now let current in this loop is say I3. So analyze the current source first. We can say that phi amp is equal to here I2 is flowing in this direction and I3 is also flowing in this direction that is say this is A and this is B. Current I2 is flowing from A to B. Current I3 is also flowing from A to B but phi amp is flowing from B to A. I can say phi is equal to minus of I2 plus I3. Both I2 and I3 are flowing in same direction but opposite to phi. So it is minus of I2 plus I3 or I can write phi equal to minus I2 minus I3. So after analyzing the current source we should we should assume that this phi amp is removed from the circuit. If we remove from the circuit it will become a single loop that is here I can show this will become a single loop. This entire loop is known as super loop. Now let me apply KVL to this super loop that is apply KVL to super loop. So I will start from here that is 2I2 is equal to so in this loop current I3 is flowing in same direction I can write 2I3 
then current will flow through two ohm four ohm register in four ohm register current i2 is flowing in this direction whereas we are moving in this direction so it is opposite we can write it as minus 4 i2 or i can write or i can simplify 2 i2 plus 4 i2 is equal to 2 i3 or i can write 6 i2 equal to 2 i3 3 as i3 is equal to 6 by 2 i2 or i can write 3 i2 so therefore further i can simplify this as so i3 is equal to 3 i2 from this equation i can continue that is phi is equal to minus i2 minus i3 i3 means 3 i2 that is 3 i2 or i can write phi equal to minus 4 i2 or i2 equal to minus 5 by 4 or I2 equal to minus 1.25 amp. So I1 is the current considering 20 volt source alone. Its value is 2.5. Current I2 is considering 5 amp source alone. So total current that is total current is I. Total current into this circuit can be calculated as I is equal to I1 plus I2. So therefore I can write i is equal to total current i is equal to i1 plus i2 or i can write i is equal to i1 is 2.5 and i2 is minus 1.25 minus 1.25 therefore i will be equal to 1.25 amp so this is the current flows into the circuit 1.25 amps and this is calculated using superposition theorem thank you for watching